is TC. Um, what do you mean by in TC? I mean you can hear it. In like oh I and this gives me a TZ, which is a radius TZ, because that's the execution of all the ZIs. If you like, it's for all I. But for all I must be restricted, unfortunately, to the subscript C. So, exactly, for all I sub Z. Well, it says x con con t Rabbit. z con sub z um, well, this is called some part of, uh, of t the whole collection of t z which is the whole collection of the rabbit x p blue uh, uh, argument which consists of some conic collection of the whole well, rabbit well, because we have a linear processor, and in this we can only do this one, one pass. I start okay. here, though. Remember, no, but there is a definition to be like, you know, the A. B. That's the definition. Oh. To execute the procedure number I Z. of Z to produce a T, and you get T sub I along with Z, yes. which is in. Sub Z. Yes. In May, you can get execute the procedures in all con of Z to 10. In order to get TZ to 10, you have a dot. These are names of processors. That's right. As I say, you get execute, description, bidding, operation, all of the results obtained by Z in P, P, all the results obtained by Z in Q. You into a new result, a new description, but what it is there. Uh, in this case, day, you get execute by a procedurally operation. The concept of these things, and so refer, sorry, I should have further argument to get to see. And um, the result of the procedure of, and some collection of results called to produce a procedure. T Z sub J, which is not the same as A Z I, um, but it's in. It is because related to it because it's in. It related in some way to now it. Now become a member of Z. Remember Z. Now the execution of it does. It, it is a matter of con C, and then the execution of con C gives T Z. Yeah. By by the second equation there. Now formally we can expand this one by saying all we do is to take it in brackets. And execute the procedure inside to produce the terms here in red. So, in fact, we have a four phase operation. The first operation is executing one of those to produce that thing. The next stage is executing that. But then, executing that means, in fact, executing that inside a further bracket. So, it's a four phase procedure. And that represents a kind of cycle which yeah, then just sure. flows yeah. later on. With it. And if you had enough dimension of processor, you would have the reallocation. Yeah, sure. Then, uh, in, in actually doing it, you have to be careful with the reality. But uh, the thing is, it's actually a phase displacement. So a lot uh, of dBs and pBs and stuff is phase displacement. If you want to regard this book as a being in any way sensible.
all these terms up here which are elaborately referred to by these things, and the thing damping only operates in those fixed universes. The point being that the, 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 the propositional calculus was built, in fact, upon a presupposition of descriptive calculus, of syllogism and so forth, which assumes things and then imbues the populata of itself into existence in the way that the creatures are composed of these creatures. And uh, presuppose the proposition is made and then move to bridge up into a first order calculus, which we readily show to collapse, uh, any calculus of ends or will show to collapse on the first order calculus. And the first order calculus becomes second order, or becomes the zero order calculus. If you add it, the zero order calculus would become adding that to the first order and vice versa. So you would have any power set. Sorry? You would have any power set of any set of, of as a matter of set included in, in, in the universe, we think. And so, that in fact, these universes Z would simply be a large number of sets of sets of sets of power sets of the same thing. Yes. But how does it convert from zero to zero? Well, well, the zero to first was a trick, which was discovered by Spencer Brown, in fact, and uh, had to engage in the distinction judgment. Why is it a trick? It's a trick, entirely, because it was first of all devised as a propositional calculus. Then it was realized that this relied upon a descriptive calculus, is what Lustre was on about. And then it was realized that, okay, uh, we have the script calculus in that great. Uh, most of the theorems apply in both cases, the propositional and the descriptive first order calculus. And let's call the propositional zero order. Now, obviously, we can collapse all of the calculus up to n, capital infinity, onto the first order calculus by the means simply of coalescing their power sets. Because we have set theory. And, um, isn't it? Because we have Cantor counting and Zanello, etc. And no, it isn't. I want to tell you about it. Three. And um, the arbitrary too. And the slightest scrutiny of the thing shows us. We can't be aware of it, of course. And the only people who broke out of that meeting made were the, the intuitionists, actually, and Brian Keaton from that time, and Brower. Also, I'm very interested. Do you have anything on that? Yes. Let's call combination. Like it. That isn't this uh, bionics thing, is it? It's beaten that function. Some Jack Cowan contribution will be in there. This is strange. logic doesn't really have it has a sort of very optimistic value rather like Keynes's adaptation of very as a like now this is the trouble with this it's not the elegant yeah. method which I'm worried about it's the question of the indexing but all can accommodate me the trouble is to make a really great um, superstructure of programming. And one doesn't want it to be thrown away, and one wants it to be useful. Okay. So, I mean, you, you see, see what I was doing here? I was trying has to allow liberty for some indexing, which is going to admit. I was trying to increase my understanding of this yeah. comparison, of whether you name the boundary, yeah. name in side, and its relations yeah. between, to this problem of database representation. Oh, yeah, correct. And the remaining issue. Uh, I mean, I don't see why it's a problem actually, but it's uh, uh, the issue. Of what is the what is the problem here? Do we have a, a new entry of some sort? And that's no, there's no knowledge there. There's no knowledge. That's just, I'm just, just I mean, it's a list rather than a matrix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, just a list of triangles. But I mean, that doesn't matter very much. So there, there are 
there are two points here. There are two points here. One is that the subscript fudging doesn't preserve the process simultaneity. No, it doesn't actually. Yeah, that's the trouble. That's, yeah. That is the trouble. This would as a fudge, the four phase model would as a fudge. Yeah, it is fudge As long as. It's a fudge still. It's a fudge still, right? But only because we don't have the right architecture, the right substrate. Um, the architecture and substrate is the same, yeah. Well, I mean substrate, I mean architecture. Okay, well, it's the right substrate. Okay, you get the kind of problem here, which is actually the application. That is the problem. It's an old practice in, in standard science. Standard epistemology. We derive the nature of predicates. Like said often, probably not very intelligent, but I have said, from the symmetries and, and symmetry breaking properties of well defined types of entries. The fact is that I mean, uh, Hibbs is, is a charming guy. The present half the inside of Falkins with whom he collaborates. And Gage theory is a fudge of the same kind. It tends to coalesce something which is nearly a group theory. So it's, it's beautiful. Those acts are packed by the author. The same incident is a very top mode, so it's not really. And, um. What's the formulation of symmetry making and breaking? Really, it is uh, that you can distinguish, say, lead from iron, sodium, or something like that. One kind of particle from another kind of particle. Uh, in terms of the symmetries of the anti symmetries of the preordained geometry, which presupposes an initial similarity or initial cluster or something. Let's talk about that. Well, this is, this is why, why, does, why do you need the assumption? Well, how do you have a symmetry? I mean, how would you have a symmetry or an anti-symmetry? I mean, how would you get an anti-spin property, for example? And that it is different to you. that. You're saying that it comes from me having predicated already yeah, it it can only come yeah. if I predicate and your form. It's an initial singularity. Well, which is the singularity? The initial singularity or a essential singularity, if you like. Sorry, what do you mean in singularity? It's boundary. Boundary between the symmetry making. It's just kind of the parity. As a matter of fact, in using the same sign Q used up here, you find is equal to plural. Find finds equals under Nas in that group with its complementarity in language and nor. Says refine. Yes. By last. Oh, By a definition of your own equivalence, say here. Yeah. yeah. It's defined as equal to polar equivalence, and defined as equal to polar by an equivalence sign to duality. It is equivalent to duality by Paul's definition. By last definition, the equivalent exists between complementarity and language, but not in. So 
can create. I mean, for example, a property like spin, which is a misnomer for a word, um, properly this should be. Um, well, so it's a bad translation. As though this is a boil of <laughs> spinning in different directions. Um, it's a bad translation, but a thing like this, this is uh, across a boundary which actually relies upon having an essential similarity in the system. And some non essential ones like black hoodie or whatever, and cosmology or condensed stars or something which can white. Such a singularity is a predicate to make. Yeah, true. Sure. It actually relies upon this to make predicates. Because otherwise you make predicates. But to answer what you're symmetry. naming is the initial no, singularity. No, 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 in some sense, symmetry. the initial singularity no, no, no. is the predicate. Not the only one, of course. Not the only one. But, uh, so, but what you take is after that, having find the scheme by that thing. You now take the symmetrical property according to that scheme, mm -hmm. the anti symmetrical properties. There is no anti matter and matter, the anti uh, symmetry, anti symmetry, difference or distinction. And you can say of perfectly ordered job calculus. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you mean a partial yeah. 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 Or a electron or proton or something? Sorry. That's all it is. I mean these are your Yeah, these are these all are you're doing. Diagrams. These are coherence diagrams. And, and this, this is, is the symmetric case, it's the anti symmetric case. Well, it's anti symmetric to that obviously. This relation is due to those. So this is not symmetric with that. It's anti symmetric. Does this need to be a geno case? No. It is not a geno, complete geno. It's partial. It was partial. It was, it was partial geno. It was complete geno. It was back again. And we back. Your initial proposition. And we'll be back to. We'll be back to the initial singularity of black period, which is not a, uh, an essential singularity, but it is of the same kind as the initial singularity. Butane is hotter than matches, is that it? Mm. Butane hotter than matches? Um, Seems less efficient. Matches are a very hot uh, star. Very hot. They seem to bite uh, the tiny roaches much more. Um, um, and hashish, for example, lights yeah. up much more easily. Probably a bit much more regular flame. I still, uh, I want to return to this concept of initial singularity. Well, in order to make that scheme at all, in order to generate those parities, dualities, properties, additives, etc., conservation rules also, you require to introduce into a thing like H theory, which is named relation, yeah. the fact of uh, coherence theory. You need to, and I think relation even with uh, a sensible sort of uh, semi you need to do 
use some notion of the Big Bang or emissions of Valerica. And all of the singularity is carrying on from space. Gravity space and so on. And it opens it up to space. And it kind of becomes black holes and they propagate it through matter. Um, are somehow uh, of the same type as the initial one. Now, they're not the same thing, but they're the same type. So they can be put into one one by respondents of the initial one. So it's a big trick in physics. And it comes out very saliently when you take a coherence and detection process calculus and apply it to physics. And you find that physics is that embraced by the whole thing, you come out with very minor subset of the whole lot. But they don't connect. Why do I need um, the duality yeah. of the entire Well, you need the initial reaction. Read some notion of the rage parity. Read some notion of the same birth of opposite sign. Need some notion of they must both be there or neither exists if you get existential up over. You need some notion of for all, which can only be in some universe, and you need some notion of infinity, which may be applied locally. Otherwise you don't need infinity in your food parity. done these things, you now introduce the normal forms of logic into the life. And you find you've dug up uh, disjunction, which you've got distribution, you've not got conjunction, which you've got connectivity, and you've not got uh, morphism, which you've got analogy, etc. And uh, you can model this in category theory very nicely, and then process it. The general model goes a bit further. serious moments is not what you thought it was at all. Because they're not the same kind of processor necessarily. Tell me the truth. Just look. I mean, you can't find out. I don't know. No. I mean, in the same way that elementary particle is different from another. We rely upon this initial intuition here as the essential application to generate the whole bloody world. And when you loop them around together, then you get a thing rather like those production schemes and the DP and PV operators and the X operator and the N operator, which is the coherence thing. seriously because unfortunately we doubt that one that's how they differ because they ought to be subscripted in one in two in have you said why I need a conservation yes in order to get explained in order that you carry on I guess so yes in order to carry on yes in order that you have something have something it doesn't explain yes it doesn't Com the complementarities yeah. is the both must yeah. exist for us to exist as, yeah. as opposites. Yeah. 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 And the duality is somewhere. The duality making is a, a weak complementarity in a sense. It's a symmetry. Symmetry relation. And duality is the parity, sorry, the mirror image. Um, but uh, the mirror image is plainly I've got established. Parity is a weak by, form of duality. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, complementarity is the duality. space you've created, as mirrors you created by your initial choice of the essential bifurcation. But essential bifurcation is still essentially a predicate. 
Yeah, but the, the trouble here is the only rise of the manure scheme is very elegant at works. You never want to generate how one craft is different from another craft. If you know how they're different, that's an allergy. Somehow, whatever that means, I don't know what an allergy is. But if you have knowledge of it rather than believe it, then uh, there's no need for such a thing. For which but, thing? Uh, for uh, verification. You need a name adjective, so I'll make one. Uh, but if you have, for example, now, yes, if you only have believe, uh, you can trade it off. You, know, you require knowledge, you do require believe. several different Z values, values of Z and X over the distance. X cubed, a concept, or as bad as they, uh, they apply their concept. Matter very much which, I mean, the notation is better than the last two. Mine is probably better than the comp side. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then it is a uh, case there is a coherence between the execution and the or the um, the um, application of these damn things. And this is the common area of belief. There's nothing over an average. There's no kernel there, which exists, as it were, without those crystals there, without the Z's being existent. It's all which. In the case of both belief and knowledge. No, it is belief. Yeah, it might knowledge, be true. Because knowledge would claim that uh, there is a return. Accepting it with personal knowledge, isolating a particular Z, Z1 or Z2, Zn. With personal knowledge, I suppose. That it's knowledge in general. There is no such thing outside unless you activate the universe by producing an LP which works. So you're saying that the whole. I'm saying that if you produce an LP which works, it makes you represent people in science. You're saying that the whole is God. Yes. And that the God is belief. You're saying that that's a very simple thing. If you wish to embrace or apprehend or apply the whole, yeah, okay. all that you do, uh, embrace, apply, not apprehend. <laughs> embrace, <laughs> execute. Yes, apply. But not, not apprehend. apprehend. Indeed, yeah. indeed, you could not do that. But if you embrace and apply it, then okay. what you have, okay. then what you have is the unity that is normally expressed as the name of God, oh, yeah. which is belief. Yes, but the I actually a reflection of I and most. But once a difference is made, once a participant is... Is that, for example, to be a difference in this respect from crystal punches and... Um, so, uh, but once a difference is asserted, once an individual is localized, then something may be. But only when there does exist a specific Z processor, which may or may not be biologically coincident. We, would, we wouldn't notice it if we, we would tend not to notice it if we weren't Probably localized. True. The culture would attend, attend, would try to be inside. Well, some cultures are different. Some cultures are different. Yeah. Uh, this culture, which we sit in. Yeah, the ones being very intensely. But the 
reassertion board. Yeah, the captain But the reassertion board of the strength of the person, the self as the no, me, the apprehend or the negative. Why not? Why not? The negative first. Yeah. So that's where you get in trouble. Hmm? Know ye first and apprehend your name. And uh, that's the trouble because there isn't a name. Yes? My need to say it in temporal order did not mean that uh, no, 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 I wish no, you have no, it in no, that no, order. Uh, that's not because. Uh, I'm wondering whether you have to delve into the whole structure of getting a separator, or whether you have a separator that you determine some other level of the structure. Now, since level has no meaning, except under an intention or a, uh, an application or an execution, so um, there can be many different meanings of level, and hence one can get into it. Curious ambiguities, which are not easy. That's why I brief for Can I continue the discussion oh, by sure. taking a current digression, which is not? The normal, is best day. The normal way, way that we think about restoring these block structures is sort of like this. I just have indicators that yeah, can be numerals. Oh. Just to skip numerals. Mm -hmm. There's a PRS. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's the key. Okay. You know, we have been talking about attaching to this list a title you known as the universe name. And it's being out here somewhere as a second. Take this capability, this difference in notation, seriously. Then, in fact, what you mean is omega T P Q. Omega T S O. And so on down the line, so on this way. Namely, all universes that these appearances exist in, all boundaries in which they have good validity look like this, except now when we assume that the universal interpretation is indeed that of the Omega universe, I take this data structure and I turn it into that data structure, and I sort of sit the Omega tag off to the side, and then I do my prunes and self prune bonds. If, however, I say instead that I'm really wishing to talk about the T-boundary, yeah. then I take the T out of there, yeah. and I keep my omega in, unless... Yeah, it was really an omega not subscripted at all, or infinitely, right? Yeah. Uh, I wasn't uh, committing to that aspect, yeah, well, but well, let's subscript it. Well, I'm, I'm a little... Or if we put so low, so I don't see a reason yes, not to yes. put that in. Yeah, Some sort of index on it. That yeah, this is... This is a universe boundary named T, and I, there's no reason why I shouldn't do prunes and self prunes on this term. Nor indeed call this the case T omega 1, because I can have as many of these descriptors as I want to define a common context in which we have agreement. I think you're talking about the elicity of relations, I'm not sure. Now let's see. So the T in the omega 1 comes off to the side, and then all I have in my database is PQ. And indeed, this coherence is held sufficient because the boundaries are named sufficient. Well, um, the um, limit to be here is, I think, that maybe the meaning of true changes. What I'm worried about is following the 
frantic logic of this, which is the minimal one, Sorry, which may be different operator? Well, this may be Well, Amiga, for example, could be a different operator. It could be a different coherence system to these and these and these. But then the original assertion that these should be named the same is, is incorrect. Well, but in fact, it probably is not. It could be, but it probably is not. I mean, it could be the responsibility, but it, it, it probably is not. Like, it is not. In many How, cases, could it not How could it not be? How could it not be? That's true of this case as well. Yes, except we have the three fold and the four fold. Yeah. Three fold and the two fold and the four fold or whatever. But I mean, it's. Um, oh, but you're yeah, saying that these are different because the intensity of these relations are different. Yeah, yeah, I'm be. saying if that's true, then this is equally false, regardless of what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, sure. And I, I, mean, I bet we'll bother about it. On the contrary, I think it shows the consistency that I'm asserting. It may do. I'm bothered about it. I didn't say it didn't do that. I said I'm bothered about it. I'm not. I'm not I'm uh, sorry. anxious about it. I'm simply maintaining this is a thing I've thought about and, uh, and, and I'm, I, I'm wondering about the matter a little bit. I understand that. It came to me, obviously, by looking at the memo on this distinction we're talking about here and worrying again about the database problem. Yeah. Now, the fact that I can demonstrate a kind of inconsistency in this old-fashioned mm. static format may or may not be impressive. Very, very impressive. Yeah. It's, it's only a hint that there might be a problem if we showed it in a, in a process. It would be for a different process. So if we activated these. Yeah, as so, so the process if we had it, it would be a hell of a problem. If we added a processor which said at all times that yeah, the TP distinction would just arrive to day very No, but this is yeah, no, it is it's exactly, it's exactly it's exactly the book and which is required. It's exactly the answer to it. I think we need the book. I think we have the answer. We don't need the book and have the answer ourselves. But on the other hand, the book is an in, in, in interesting confirmation of it because the gentleman has examined the possibility of universal temporality. A universe of a universal temporality of temporality. He examines the question. There is chance that one may be so. This one. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's a it's a one third degree. Uh, I, I don't want to be deferred by the book. They're not being deferred. They're not being deferred. They're not being deferred. Out here, universal time, beginning, human time. Very dainty. Um, biological time. Mathematical time. A little bit of relativistic time. Just doing that computer. Mathematical, I'm not sure. Cosmic time, space time. Should we get back to the whole thing at the beginning, which is, uh, is there such a thing as universal time? And the answer is? Um, I don't know. I'm going to share it, actually, there isn't, but this guy doesn't know, which I mean, he's, um, he's, he's as dubious as I am, and I'm a bit skeptic too. But uh, before I end my life in this world, I should not be a skeptic. And, um, Demonstrate uh, the opposite. There's no such thing as universal time, which is the 
which is why one cannot perhaps do this trick. Otherwise, we're the end of the trick. I don't see why one can't do it. Um, I don't see why one can't do it. I'm a skeptic, I say. But before the end of my life, I expect to have a good shot. I have a belief in the matter, or so the faith in the matter. I have an intuition, if you like. You have an intuition that you will find it. Oh, yes, yes. You will find it why it is the case that in the natural philosophy of time, it is impossible to have a universal one such that the processes can be coordinated completely. And the, the difference between the omegas here, and the, the uh, indeed the relations, is not sufficiently ordained by the addicity of the four and two, or that two and three, um, and the coherency relation, but it, it required also that one has something else called a universe of whatever you like. Um, one way of putting it is to say universal temporality, universal action, and the action clocks are different in a different way. And they're not just linear clocks, they're n dimensional clocks, or five dimensional clocks, or six dimensional clocks, or something in the Atkin sense. There's every report that's heard the thing about the Lima on Atkin, is really building up to this confusion at some stage. That's why I'm nervous. I mean, I'm not um, saying this stuff doesn't work. I mean, I'm only saying that it is uh, an elegant trick, as far as I'm concerned at the moment, a uh, good trick. But it has to be noted as a trick. I'm not fine. Yeah, that's all I, I, mean, I think there is I tremendous. Mean, it has to be noted as a trick. I think uh, there uh, are implications uh, here yeah. for future convenience. Yeah, sure. May, may I ask you about a particular way of looking at this? This is a TP contained or in the static form. In fact, what we mean is that there are lots of free processors in the production scheme model, which say that I can retrieve the process, literally the procedure which I can execute, which makes the process known as the similarity and the difference of this, the contrast, the contrast and so on, of a TP, if I have it available, so on, and make the key, yeah. and so on. So in yeah. fact, that's really what I'm trying to say. Uh, given that, why don't I then model my LP database, rather than as this is a static form, yeah. but instead this ta this finding and taking together of things, Actually. which the saturated process, of course, will search for the existence of such the existence of circularities, yeah, which right, yeah. do the right thing. And I think I mean, telling that you do it. To repeat it, that you do it to me. So it's combinatorial, you really don't know it. Very possibly, but I mean, um, the fact is that I mean, he knew the guy well enough, and he's actually a student also, and he's a good guy, and he, he knows exactly what he's up to. And um, you tell him that we're combinatorics are the source of many things Parsons, um, Bakers, and uh, similar people. The question is the late 20s in the 19th century. And he would appreciate which case if you were going to take in the 20th century something which is dynamic. I have a question. If I have a big hash code table here. Hash code, I mean, random in what a hash code is. Hash like code that. is just a convenient way of. A code, yeah, I know a hash code. I'm not quite sure. Hash code is a scheme. Code. Hash code scheme. His way of having a very long list yes. and saying, I wish to find where this is in the list. Indeed, to find if well, it is for example, list, T or T or P uh, is, it, is in the list. Uh -huh. And I do it by taking what my internal representation of T is, say the bits and so on, and I bung it through a code. And the code suggests, well, look here. It may not be there, but it will be near. And it's much more efficient than a bubble sort. So, so indeed, depending on what I find when I get here, I look a little bit this way, a little bit that. It's a very efficient yeah, iterative way, thing. It's a way of putting an order of notation in the thing like that. Right. And it's optimized by how full the table is versus how many different entries I can have. It's a sort of rule of ratio parameter which tells me I can trade off space for time, essentially. Yes, yeah, sure. right. If I had such a thing, then I could say to myself, well, I have a bunch of processes that 
are available to me, that's called inputs. Information or opens. This is info open. And this sort of streams in, and I get a thing called a P. Now, look in the hash code, and I say, have I got such a thing already? Presumably, presumably if I do, I can then arbitrarily combine it with some other simultaneous thing coming in like T, and I can say, well, have I got that? Yes or no. If I don't, I could say to the user, please, user, supply me a procedure, which is this pair, the DBPB pair, yeah. which then allows me to compute this as a togetherness and to name it something. So I'm still an authoring mode. So I, now I've named what this becomes, which in your other thing is a mu and eta, I think. Now, this is in fact what I now name something new, so I now generate a tag, Q, and of course I put this here, I enter it into the hash code table. How and do enter it now? How is the entry done? Do you understand the hash code of one entry? Yeah. Yeah. With two entries, I find it possible because the information is supplied by the user. The information is now transformed by this process, which is very easy, mm -hmm. into a new entry in the hash code table, which now makes it a, a three entry, three key, as it were, into a, a data structure of some sort. Three keys are required. It might be any number you want. I mean, <laughs> depends on how many things are out there. Um, I'm not sure what the the ordering scheme would be, uh, except in for the case of one. Yes. Uh, I well, mean, the order, what, what the hell would it be? I mean, doesn't it? If we have here an ordinal number around the first entry, which is p in your well, administration. Sorry, uh, don't, um, don't let me confuse you by no. calling this a hash code scheme. If this was simply a linear okay. list of entries, it would also work. I'm sorry. Well, I, it I, would, but the optimization rule would not. The optimization is only for finding it as a way of retrieval. I mean, the optimization against the number of n numerosity yes. of entries. Yes. And, and no, no, please don't let me. Oh. Uh, don't expand that. Okay. Use it as use it as a. I'm sorry. Use it as an index. <coughs> I'm, I'm, I'm mixing too much time to it. into it. Table of something or other, and I can duplicate as I want. No, so the question is, what is this code? The point is, the code is arbitrary. Mm -hmm. All that I know is that I have additional yeah. tables, which have additional entries, part, some of which right. are these: the existence right. of these pairs right. tagged by T and P, which I then put. And now some thing called Q, which I I may or may not name. Yeah, that's fine, provided you don't, um, provided you don't in some way notarize or give a fiat to the order. This order? The order in which you make this thing. No, 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 no. You must not. I mean, this is important. Well, if I'm a do, then you have to make the whole bloody structure. Oh, that's absurd. You would uh, make a absurd. piece of I mean, stupid. Piece of uh, it would be stupid yeah. In authoring mode, as we currently conceive it. The user chooses to draw attention to particular nodes and to input these things. Mm -hmm. The saturate case is the arbitrary one of this thing churning around. Right. Now, the nice thing about it is that you can model now the database as a bunch of independent processes, which if they're being activated, if they're, if your attention, if you have now you activated, being applied, they're applied. You should have come to, to not Stockholm, but they wouldn't do. To what? Gutenberg. Gutenberg. Yes, what is going on there? Rest acts. They have some now. Why didn't you invite me? I did. Did you? So, thank you. put me up on Well, it just happened. I mean, they invited you. It's fine, I'm sure I couldn't get it. You couldn't, because I'm reading it. Well, you might as well get it to bail off on But um, I didn't invite you. I'm sure you didn't. I could have paid you an insane effort that everybody else got to do. Mm -hmm. It's not very much <laughs> enough to get back in the entertainment stream. And um, the, um, so the point is. And um, the, see, the list machine mode would allow us to simply start these off as processes. Yeah. 
And the system itself would worry about everything else. It would worry about... Are you sure? Without a lot of determination, but... They say that people with lisp, I suppose, have experienced it. It was the exact same difficulty that we're now talking about. About having different possible kinds of relation between entries that you made in this table. Yes. And that's not a great difficulty. But there is a trouble in this mm -hmm. because it tends to be tree like and hierarchical like mm -hmm. these things as we expand, expand the whole construction by making these entities which are super delta and then you convert them into all, and all, go. Your, all your and then you go out. into a thing which is called Q, which is going to create that now it is the table. We imagine the tap is the same tap. And are we really preserving the nature of the relation that exists, i.e. the nature of the intersection of boundaries, which occurs in the hint page above here, as long as the view is really the black pencil on it? Um, that's my worry. My only worry, really. Um, because otherwise I think they're going to scheme. Can I ask the question? Um, yes, you can. You can answer question. it, you know. This whole thing is a process of saturation. I mean, then this bit doesn't work, for example. You know, this bit doesn't work. You need something equivalent to the lambda operator of Church's lambda notation, but you need a different kind of Church. You need something like, more like combinator notation. I'll tell you the date. So that you can I'm have a function that. indexed. Well, it is a lambda that, notation may, may generous may folder. Yes, sure. This is something called, what's called, from A. It's a B, G, A, L, F, or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now I call this from B. Let's see if we see the again. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. One can now say. That in the same way, arguing by analogy, I can think of the TPQTRSO as part of more than one in one's area. This is the process which I've well, heard. So let, let me call this now. Sorry, let me not duplicate this. Okay. is omega one. No, it's going to be, say, this or this or this. Maybe we should have a subscription on this I'm happy with that. I've examined, but not stressed. But I've happy examined that. it. Is that it could be omega one? But tell me if what I'm. One sub two. Tell me if what I write is going to shock you. Let's see. I wish to write therefore omega super one sub one. P Q. And omega super one sub one R S O. So this is alias T. And now I wish to do this. Multi process to do it properly, it all these processors are independent. Uh, this is alias T correct. That is alias T0. That's alias T1. They will allow me to put a subscription there. T1, super 1, that is T super 0. Excellent. That does the tricky. Now, preserving this distinction to extend it to energy synthesis. Uh, other ways of doing it. You can do it with a different notation. But I mean, and this is what you mean by what you were doing over here. Yes. Yes. If that is what you mean, Professor, yes. 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 I agree yes. with you with great joy yes. and pleasure. I trust you will not press it too far because it can be broken down to the state and the argument. But on the other hand, it works as far as it goes. It's quite a long way. When does it break down? It breaks down only. Uh, breaks when you down consider only that in connection with that. I'm sorry? When you consider this essay in connection with that. It breaks down? It could break down. I don't know if it does in this case. But uh, until a certain point, it works for you. Um, 
you expect that it must break down. I know. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't saying, expect it. I say I'm a skeptic. I didn't say I expect I'm, it. I know. Me. I'm trying. So I am a skeptic. When you, say that you, when you say that you're a skeptic, I wish still to pin you toward a direction, if not to a committed desire. And well, I it's when sure you want to take the process of that day to do that thing. All you're saying is that I don't have enough. Well, I don't, I don't have well, enough we have enough to compute. Enough. Yeah. That's all you're saying. You're saying, I don't have enough free-running processors to do this, and this simultaneously. You can do it with the Conway universe. I'm doing in the present plot book. I'm giving people a model of your Conway optometry. How do I know it's present? Well, you can easily. I mean, there's no difference at all. (laughs) You can uh, give them a model they can use to administrate it. And uh, you'll go mad with it. But um, you can make the ambiguities of temporality into the ambiguity of spatiality, as you like, and you can trade these things off, and it's easy. And one can make more stuff than another. The trouble with Lisp is that he has unfortunately got attached to it a truth valuation scheme, which was invented by Lonzo Church. Well, this is specific to this machine, which I presume makes use this with the language notation. And the difficulty here is one well, which is quite interesting and profound. Well, the Chiavilio and Baratrius, uh, that show where well, so does Munge, so Concordia instead, but they're funny with this. And uh, the Anonzo Church notation, Lambda notation, which is you call the name of a function. You're actually calling the name of a function as though it was a variable. And what he's trying to model is in a projection of the claim phase algebra, which talks about functional functionality of a thing, namely a combinator. Don't do combinatonics or combinatorial mathematics, it was a combinator, which is the word they chose in nineteen twenty or something like that. Or uh, an entity which has an identity of its own and can be very different sorted. And it operates upon a net or a set of things or whatever. And the same trick was done by, by Alonzo Church and it was done by Lars Lovegrove. And it was done very crudely by the Burks and these people. They're very clumsy. And um, on the Neumann, namely to, to, to try to degrade into the mathematical notion of identity what should be contained in a, in a notion of um, possibly a category theoretic type, possibly an uh, isomorphism type, can be to model it in a specific way. Um, but incorrectly, obviously, uh, these morphisms are, are really morphisms at all. They're, 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 they're Injected from to it, and um, between categories at, at the least, um, was well aware of this. Um, but what he uses the model, and so on, so checked. He uses the model that's been incorporated into Lisp. Now, how deeply incorporated is that? I don't know, <laughs> because this band doesn't have a lambda notation. Unfortunately, I do know that in this band it was necessary to use multiple terminators at the end of a list in blank cell or whatever you call it, another cell. Which is, uh, I'm not sure, far or whatever it's called, and it has a truth value system attached to it, has to be replaced by something which has many values. Which gets the lamp properly, it doesn't work at all, it's why it wasn't there. It wasn't a defect of Newton's system, it was an ordained containment of a fiat, a dictate of myself. A bloody thing wouldn't do anything. Be careful, therefore. They're not about Lisp as such. It's a lovely language. It's a delightful language to work with, but unfortunately, it is clobbered by Alonzo Church. Is the Lisp machine so clobbered or not? Well, I'm not sure. Well, I'm not I don't sure. think it is. Let's you, make sure of it. I don't think it is if you it's use it. Terribly informed. You don't use it in the following way. Well, the point is that all the truth values are meant to be the same. True is true, and false is false. 
correct. It's a modal logic. At the moment, it's a good logic. It's a modal logic if you write code yeah. in a way that uses the true the TF terminators yeah. okay. only well, as a means to housekeep on terminators which indeed are represented uh, by more than TF. Okay, fair enough. That's that simple. I wonder if it is actually. I think it may be, but I'm not sure. No, I was skeptical. I don't know. I mean, that's mm. my trouble with that. So. Oh, if you're saying again and again that uh, I mean, I was the algebra me. there, yeah. which is faked by the fudge I just mentioned, yeah, sure. uh, is inadequate for. What is it inadequate for? Is it like a representative process at all? Sure. So, oh. inadequate actually represent good. Because the TF is not true in all cases. But if these process activations. There is no such thing in your world. The universal coherence. Uh, Agreed. Coherence is different. But, but there is a coherence, but it's not only isomorph. It isn't actually isomorph. It is, a, at, at the very least, we know it is a functor of your categories. Look, if I have these processes here in omega sub 1, super 1, and I assert that I have. So I have correct. I don't know. I okay. said it's correct. And if I do execute those yeah. in some bit of the substrate that I have. For example? Uh, well, I'm, I'm as many free processors as I need in the production scheme. Okay, fair enough. Yes, all right. To, okay, fair to enough. do these okay, combinations. Enough. Okay, yes, yes, yes. And I name it so. There are three processes. They will, for example, be players and hunks. Uh, yeah. But I mean, for we're example, talking about processors on a different level, though. We're talking about processors on a level of. Don't mind if we tack the level. Why is it easy? Um, what do you mean by in TF? I mean, you can hear Oh, I and this gives me a teasing, which is a which is teasing, I think, because that's the execution of all the zi's. If you like, it's for all i. For all i, for all i must be restricted, unfortunately, to the subscript c. So exactly for all i sub z. It says x con con t z con subsidy um, for the school, some process of, uh, of t the whole collection with t z which is the whole collection of the results x p b uh, argument which consists of some con collection of the whole well, results. I need these two lines of four well, this we have a linear processor, and in this we can only do this one. One pass. Let's start here, though. Remember, no, well, there is a definition to like, you know, the A. B. That's the definition. Oh. You execute the procedure, the number I Z. of Z, to produce a T, and you get T sub I along with Z, yes. which is in. Sub Z. Yes. In May, you can get execute the procedures in all con of Z to T in order to get T Z to tend to the dot. These are names of processors. That's right. As say, you get execute description picking operation all of the results obtained by Z in B, B, all the results obtained by Z in Q. You into a new result, a new description, like what it is there. Uh, in this case, day, you get execute by a presumably operation. The concept of these things, and so further, sorry, I should have further argument here, TC. And um, the result concept the procedure of, and some collection of results of, to produce a procedure. T Z sub J, which is not the same as Z I, um, but it's in, it is related 
no. to it because it's in it breaks in some way to it. Now it becomes in a member of TZ. It is a member of TZ. Now, the execution of it does. It's it just a matter of con C, and then the execution of con C gives T. Yeah. By way of the second equation we did. Now, formally, we can expand this one by saying all we do is to take two brackets and execute the procedure on the side to produce the terms here. They're related. So, in fact, we have a four phase operation. The first operation is executing one of those to produce that thing. The next stage is executing that. But then executing that means, in fact, executing that inside a further bracket. So it's four phase procedure. If you like three phase, then that would be the main phase. Yeah. And that represents a kind of cycle which yeah, then just sure. flows. Yeah. And if you had enough dimension of processor, you would have the reality. Yeah, sure. Then in fact, in, in actually doing it, you're very careful with the reality. But uh, the thing is, it's actually a phase displacement. You know, a lot uh, of DBs and PBs and stuff is phase displacement. If you want to regard this book as being in any way Kinsberg, for example, or like Kinsberg, uh, like Kinsberg. point is that the, 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 the universal operator and the existential operator will not operate except in the universe. It's his yield. And all these terms up here which are elaborately referred to by these things, and the thing, damn thing only operates in those fixed universes. The point being that the, 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 the propositional calculus was built in fact Presupposition of descriptive calculus, or syllogism and so forth, which assumes that then the view of Lazar Cup and so forth into existence in the future of the phase of the system, and uh, presuppose the proposition of mood, and then we can bridge up into a first order calculus, which we readily show to collapse, uh, any calculus of ends order, which has collapsed on the first order calculus. And the first order calculus becomes second order, it will become a zero order calculus. If you add it, the zero order calculus will become adding that to the first order and vice versa. So you could have any power set. Sorry? You could have any power set of any set of, of the Lego set included in, in, in the universe we do. And so, in fact, these universes Z would simply be a large number of sets of sets of sets of power sets of the same thing. Yes. But how does it convert from zero to zero? Well, the zero to the first was a trick, which was discovered by Spencer Brown, in fact. And then he had to engage in the, the distinction judgment. Why is it a trick? It's a trick, entirely because it was first of all devised as a propositional calculus. Then it was realized that this relied upon a descriptive calculus, which is what Lustre was on about. And then it was realized that, okay, uh, we have descriptive calculus in that great. Uh, most of the theorems apply in both cases, the propositional and the descriptive first order calculus. And let's call the propositional zero order. Now, obviously, we can collapse all the calculus up to n, up to infinity, onto the first order calculus by the even simply of coalescing their power sets. Because we have set theory. And um, isn't it that you, you have Cantor counting and Zanello, etc.? And no, it isn't. I want to destroy the blouse. Three. And um, geometry, too. And the slightest scrutiny of the thing shows it's entirely well aware of it, of course. And the only people who broke out of that meeting made were the, the intuitionists, actually, and the Brian people from that time. And Brower. Brower. Thank you for writing it. Yeah. No, 
Was ő, szerintem is nézd. It's not the elegant yeah. method which I'm worried about. It's the question of the indexing, but all from the comedy. I mean, the trouble is you make a really great um, city structure of programming. And one doesn't want it to be thrown away. And one wants it to be useful. Okay. So, I mean, you see what I was uh, doing here? I was one trying has to allow liberty for some indexing, which is going to admit. I was trying to increase my understanding of this yeah. comparison, whether you name the boundary, yeah. name in, side, and its relations yeah. between to this problem of database representation. Oh, yeah, correct. And the remaining issue... Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't see why it's the problem, actually, but it's... Uh, uh, it the issue of... What is the, what is the problem here? You know, have a, a null entry of some sort. And that's no, there's no null entry there. There's no null entry. No, it's just, no, it's just, I mean, it's a list rather than a matrix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, just a list of triangles. But, I mean, that doesn't matter very much. So there, there are two points here. Have, uh, no there are two points here. One is that avoid, the subscript fudging doesn't preserve the process simultaneity. No, it doesn't this. actually. Yeah, that's the trouble. That's, yeah. That is the trouble. This would as a fudge, the four phase model would as a fudge. Yeah, it is fudge. As long as it's a fudge still. It's a fudge still, right? But only because we don't have the right architecture. The right substrate. Um, the architecture and substrate the same, yeah. Well, I mean substrate, I mean. Why do you need the assumption? Well, otherwise, how do you have the symmetry? 
I mean, how would you have a symmetry or an antisymmetry? I mean, how would you get an anti-spin property, for example? And that it is different to that. You're saying that it comes from me having predicated already. Yeah, it it, it can only come yeah. if I predicate and before. And it's an initial singularity. Well, which the singularity? Initial singularity or a essential singularity, if you like. Sorry, what do you mean in singularity? It's boundary. Boundary between the symmetry making. It's going to have parity. As a matter of fact, in using the same sign Q used up here, you will find is equal to G plural. Find minus equals under Nars in that group is in two complementarity in language and nor. Says refine. Yes. And by allows. Oh, yeah, by that. definition of your own equivalence sign here, yeah. it's defined as equal to pole as equivalence and defined as equal to pole by equivalence sign to duality as equivalent to duality by pole's definition. By allows its definition, the equivalent exists between complementarity and language, but not in. I mean, for example, a property like spin, which is a misnomer for a word um, properly that's using. Um, it's, a, it's a bad translation. As though this is a boil with <laughs> spinning in different directions. Um, it's a bad translation, but a thing like this is, is uh, across a boundary which actually relies upon having an essential singularity system. And some non essential world like black hole or whatever, and cosmology or condensed stars or whatever it is called white. Essential singularity is the predicate. Yeah, sure. It, it actually relies upon this to make predicates. Because but otherwise, you make predicates. But I'm trying to show what you're naming as the initial no, singularity. No, 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 in some sense, the initial singularity, no, 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 singularity is the predicate. Not the only one, of course. <laughs> not the only one. But, uh, so, but what you take is after that, having to find the scheme by that thing. You now take the symmetrical property according to that scheme, mm -hmm. the antisymmetrical properties. There is no anti matter and matter, the anti uh, symmetry and anti symmetry, difference of distinction. And you can say of perfectly ordered job calculus. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean a partial yeah. Yeah. Translate in zinc, uh, or uh, electron and proton. Sorry. And that's all it is. I mean, these are your. Yeah, these are these all are you're doing. Yes, they are the coherence diagrams. And, and this, this is, is the symmetric case, is the anti symmetric case. Oh, well, it's anti symmetric to that, obviously. Do this relation to do this. So this is not symmetric with that. That's symmetric. Does this need to be a general case? No. It is not a general, complete general. Partial. It was partial. It was, it was partial general. It was complete general. It was case with this. And we back. To initial proposition. And we'd be back to. We're back to initial singularity. You have black hole, which is not a, a, an essential singularity, but it is the same kind as the initial singularity.
flamethrower. I feel like I'll produce your food. I'm going to dance. I'll produce your food. I'm going to 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 produce your food. Butane is hotter than matches, is it? Butane hotter than matches. Seems um, less efficient. Matches are very hot for a star. Very hot for a star. They seem to bite uh, the tiny roaches, which are. Um, um, and hashish, for example, lights yeah. up much more. I still I want to return to this concept of initial singularity. But in order to make that scheme at all, in order to generate this additive, duality, this company, additive, etc., and translation of resources, you require to introduce into a thing like H theory, which is degradation. Yeah. The fact of the coherence theory. You need to uh, degradation even of the uh, uh, sensible sort of uh, symmetry. use some notion of the Big Bang or initial singularity. And all of the singularity is occurring in the space. The gravity space is a total singularity space. So there's no black holes and black properties that really matter. Um, are somehow uh, of the same type as the initial one. Now they're not the same thing, but they're the same type. So they can be put into one one by the spot of the initial one. Big trick in physics. And it comes out very saliently when you take a coherence and distinction across this character because you apply it to physics. And you find that physics is that embraced by the whole thing, comes out of a very minor subset of the or not Euclidean connect. Why do I need uh, um, duality no. of the Well, you need an edge theory, actually. Why? And you give it the coherence, actually, because you take them all together. And Read some notion of the range parity. Read some notion of the same birth on opposite sides. Need some notion of they must both be there or neither exists if you get existential up over. You need some notion of for all, which can only be in some universe, and you need some notion of infinity, which may be applied locally. Otherwise you don't need infinity in your food parity. Aspect that you do need the infinity if you want it. Okay. And having done these things, you now introduce the normal forms of logic that you put in mind. And you find you've just got uh, disjunction, but you've got distribution, you've not got conjunction, but you've got collectivity, and you've not got uh, morphism, but you've got analogy, etc. And uh, you can model this in category theory very nicely, very processes. The general model goes a bit further than that and find out that the entity in which the processes exist, which is what this guy is talking about, what we're actually is talking about in more serious moments, is not what you thought it was at all. Because they're not the same kind of processor necessarily. Same way that uh, there's a lot of cavalier ways of it. They didn't think of it from metal or all of it. Uh, one kind of elementary particle is different from another. We rely upon this initial intuition here as the essential application to generate the whole bloody world. 
and Ray Luton ran together, and then you get the thing about the like the production scheme from the BBMP, the operators, and the X operator, and the in operator, which is the journalist thing, and the in is connected to the like the jail operator too. It's called I N, not Sunday. take rather seriously because unfortunately we doubt that one. That's how they differ. Because they ought to be subscripted in one, in two, in Have you said why I need a conservation? Yes. In order to get explained. In order that you carry on. I guess so yes, in order to carry on, yes. In order that you have something. Have something it doesn't explain yes it doesn't Co the complementarities is the both must yes, exist rather to exist, exist as yeah, as opposites, yeah, yeah, and yeah. the duality is some way of duality making is a, a weak complementarity in a sense. It's a symmetry, symmetry relation, and duality is the parity. Sorry, the mirror image. Um, but uh, the mirror image is plainly I, but established. Parity is a weak by, form of duality. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, complementarity is uh, duality. Space you've created, a mirror is created by your initial choice of the essential bifurcation. But essential bifurcation is still essentially a predicate. Yeah, but the, the trouble here is it only arises when your scheme is very elegant, it works. You never want to generate how one craft is different from another craft. If you know how they're different, that's an average. Somehow, whatever that means, I don't know what that average is. But if you have knowledge of it rather than believe it, then uh, there's no need for such a thing. For which but, thing? Uh, for um, predication. You need a name average, it's not a name average. Uh, it isn't how it is now, yes. You only have believe. Uh, you can trade it off. You, you require knowledge, you do require belief. Several different z values, values of z and x, and execute a concept, or if they would say uh, they apply their concept, matter very much which, I mean, the notation is better than the last one. Mine is probably better than the comp side. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then it is a uh, case. <laughs> There is a coherence between the execution and or the um, the um, application of these damn things, and this is the common area of belief. It's not over a knowledge. But the kernel there, which exists, as it were, without those crystals there, without the Z's being the Z. That's all which. In the case of both belief and knowledge. No, it is belief. It might be true. There's knowledge would claim that uh, there is a return. Accepting it with custom knowledge, isolation of a particular Z, Z1 or Z2, Zn. With custom knowledge, I suppose. That it's knowledge in general. There is no such thing outside unless you activate the universe by producing an LP which works. So you're saying that the whole. I'm saying that if there was an LP that works, it's naturally represented in some. You're saying that the whole is God. Yes. And that the God is belief. Or the belief is. I told you, dear Paul. You're saying that. That's a very simple thing. If you wish to. And 
embrace or apprehend or apply at all? Yeah, I think all that you do. Uh, uh, embrace, apply, not apprehend. Embrace, execute, uh, yes, apply. But not not apprehend. apprehend. If you, uh, indeed, you could not do that. But if you embrace and apply it, then what you have, then what you have is the unity that is normally expressed as the name of God, oh, yes. which is belief. Yes. Well, it's not actually a reflection of I in this. Once a difference is made, once a participant is... I mean, is Islam, for example, different in this respect from Christian countries. So, uh, once a difference is asserted, once an individual is localized, then something may remain. But only when there does exist a specific Z processor, which may or may not be biologically coincident. We, would, we wouldn't notice it if we, we would tend not to notice if we weren't Probably localized. True. The culture would attend, tend, would try to be inside. Well, some cultures are not. Some cultures are not. Not in this culture, which we sit in at the moment. Yeah, the most thing we're in the 10th community. But the reassertion. Sorry, chapter of culture. But the reassertion, Gordon, of the strength of the person self as the know me, the apprehend or why not? Why not? Know ye first is first. Sorry. That's where you get in trouble. Hmm? Know ye first and apprehend or nay. And uh, that's the trouble because the rooms are next. Yes? My need to say it in temporal order did not mean that uh, no, no, I no, wish no, you have no, it in no, that order. No, uh, uh, first not because uh, talking about attaching to this list a title you known as the universe name and this being out here somewhere as a separate piece of the name. But if you take this capability, this difference limitation seriously, then in fact what you mean is omega T P U. So on down the line, so on this way. Namely, all universes that these universes exist in, all boundaries, yeah. that have, yeah. 
look like this, except now when we assume that the universe of information is indeed that of the Omega universe, I take this data structure and I turn it into that data structure. And I sort of set the Omega tag off to the side. And then I do my prunes and self prune prunes. If, however, I say instead that I'm really wishing to talk about the T boundary, then I take the T out of there. And I keep my omega in, unless... Yeah, it, 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 it may get not subscription at all, or anything, right? Yeah. Uh, I wasn't uh, committing to that aspect, yeah, but let's no, subscribe. I'm, I'm a little... Or if we put some laws... I don't see a reason yes, not yes. to put that in. Yeah. Some sort of index on it. Yeah, yeah, this, is, this is a universe boundary named T, and I, there's no reason why I shouldn't do prunes and self prunes in this structure. Yeah. No. Nor indeed call this the case T omega 1, because I can have as many of these descriptors as I want to find a common complex in which we have agreement. I think you're talking about the visit in relation, I'm not sure. Now let's see. So the T in the omega 1 comes off to the side, and then all I have in my database is PQ. And indeed, this coherence is held sufficient because the boundaries are named. assertion that these should be named the same is, is incorrect. That's true of this case as well. Yes, except we have the three fold and the three fold and we don't have a two fold and a four fold. We don't have a. But I mean, it's. Um, oh, but you're yeah, saying that these are different because the intensity of these relations are different. Yeah, yeah, I'm be. saying if that's true, then this is equally false, regardless of what you. Yeah, sure. Which is a rule. And I, I'm, I'm a bit more bothered about. On the contrary, I think it shows the consistency that I'm asserting. It may do. I'm bothered about it. I didn't say it didn't do that. I said I'm bothered about it. I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm just talking. Anxious about it. I'm simply maintaining this is a thing I've thought about and, um, and, and I'm, I'm wondering about the matter a little bit. I understand that. It came to me, obviously, by looking at the memo on this distinction we're talking about here and worrying again about the database problem. Yeah. Now, the fact that I can demonstrate a kind of inconsistency in this old-fashioned static format may or may not be impressive. Right, right, crazy. It's, it's only a hint that there might be a problem. If we showed it in a, in a process... It would be for a different process. So if we activated these... Yeah, as so, so, so the process... If we had it, it would be a hell of a problem. If we added a processor which said at all times that yeah, I mean, the TP was given to just arrived at David No, but this is no, it is it's exactly the book, which is a fact. I mean, it's exactly the answer. I don't think we have the answer. We don't need the book and have the answer ourselves, but on the other hand, the book is an in, in, in interesting confirmation of it. Because the Tetris examined the possibility of universal temporality. The 
universal of a universal temporality. Of temporality. He then was questioned in various chapters of that book. So, this yes, is uh, 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 It's a one hundred degree. Uh, I don't want to be deferred by them. They're not being deferred. They're not being deferred. sufficiently ordained by the adicity of the four and two or that table of three um, and the coherency relation but it, it required also that one has something else called a universe of whatever you like and one way of putting it is to say universe of temporality universe of action and the action clocks are different in a different way and they're not just linear clocks they're in dimensional clocks or five dimensional clocks or six dimensional stuff doesn't work. I mean, I'm really saying that it is uh, an elegant trick, as far as I can say at the moment, uh, it's a good trick. But it has to be known as a trick. I'm not fine. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. I, I, mean, I think there is I tremendous... Mean, it has to be known as a trick. I think uh, there uh, are implications uh, here yeah. for future convenience. Yeah, sure. May, may I ask you about a particular way of looking at this? This is a TP thing called Compares, which are stored in the yeah. static form. In fact, what we mean is that there are lots of free processors in the production scheme model, which say that I can retrieve the process, literally the procedure which I can execute, which makes the process known as the similarity and the difference of this, the con plus, con minus, and so on, of a TP, if I have it available, so on, and make the kill, and so on. So in fact, that's really what I'm trying to say. Uh, given that, why don't I then model my LP database, rather than as this is a static form, yeah. but instead this ta this finding and taking together of things, which the saturated process, of course, will search for the existence of such things, the existence of circularities, yeah, which right, yeah. do the right thing. And I think I mean, that you do it. Cool. Very convenient and bascal. Very 
possibly, but I mean, um, the fact is that I mean, knew the guy well enough, and he's actually a student also, and he's a good guy, and he, he knows exactly what he's up to. And um, you tell him that we're comatonics are the source of many things, plasters, and papers, and uh, some other people. The question is, the late in the 19th century, that he would appreciate which period you were going to take in the 20th century as something which is dynamic. I have a question. If I have a big hash code table here. Hash code, I don't know what a hash code is. Hash code is just a convenient you way to choose a code here. Yeah, I know a hash code. I'm quite hash sure code is a scheme. Code code. Hash code scheme. It's a way of having a very long list yeah. and saying, I wish to find where this is in the list. Indeed, find if well, this for is, example, T or or T or P is, is, is in the list. Uh -huh. And I do it by taking what my internal representation of T is, say the bits and so on, and I bung it through a code. And the code suggests, well, look here. Uh -huh. It may not be there, uh -huh. but it will be near. And it's much more efficient than a bubble sort. So well, indeed, depending on what I find when I get here, I look a little bit this way, a little bit that. It's a very efficient yeah, iterative way, thing. It's a way of putting sort of order of notation and so on. Right. And it's optimized by how full the table is versus how many different entries I can have. It's a sort of rule of ratio parameter which tells me I can trade off space for time, essentially. Yes, yeah, sure. right. If I had such a thing, then I could say to myself, well, I have a bunch of processes that are available to me, let's call them inputs, informational opens, this is info open, and this sort of streams in and I get a thing called a P, and I look in the hash code, and I say, have I got such a thing already? Presumably, presumably if I do, I can then arbitrarily combine it with some other simultaneous thing coming in like a T, and I can say, well, have I got that? Yes or no. If I don't, I could say to the user, please user, supply me a procedure, which is this pair, the DBPB pair, yeah. Yeah. which then allows me to compute this as a togetherness and to name it something. So I'm still an authoring mode. Yeah. So I, now I've named what this becomes, which in your other thing is a mu and eta, I think. Yeah. Uh, and that's yeah. Eta is all combining description of mu as well. Now, this is in fact what I now name something new, so I now generate a tag, which is named Q, and of course I put this here, I enter it into the hash code table. How do I enter it now? How was the entry done? Do you understand the hash code of one entry? Yes. Yeah. With two entries, I find it possible because the information is supplied by the user. Information is now transformed by this process, which is very reasonable, mm -hmm. into a new entry in the hash code table, which now makes it a, a three entry, three key, as it were, into a, a data structure of some sort. Three keys are required. It might be any number you want, I mean, <laughs> depending on how many things there are there. Um, I'm not sure what the, the ordering scheme would be, uh, excepting for the case of one. Yeah, uh, well, mean, the order, what, what the hell would it be? I mean, doesn't it? If we have here an ordinal number around the first entry, which is P in your well, administration. Sorry, don't, um, don't let me confuse you by no. calling this a hash code scheme. If this was simply a linear okay. list of entries, it would also work. I'm sorry. Well, I, it I, would, but the optimization rule would not. The optimization is only for finding it as a way of retrieval. I mean, the optimization against the number of n, numerosity yes. of entries. Yes. And, and no, no, please don't let me. Oh. Uh, don't expand that. Okay. Use it as use it as a. I'm sorry. Use it as an index. <coughs> I'm, I'm not mixing too much time to sign to it. Table of something or other, and I can duplicate as I want. No, so the question is, what is this code? The point is, the code is arbitrary. Mm -hmm. All that I know is that I have additional yeah. tables, which have additional entries, part, some of which right. are these. The existence of these right, pairs, right, tagged by right, TMP, right, 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 right. which I've input. And now some thing called Q, which I I may or may not name. Yeah, that's fine, provided you don't, um, provided you don't in some way notarize or give a fiat to the order. 
This order? The order in which you make this thing. No, no. No, no. You must not. I mean, this is important. Well, if I might... You do, then you have to make the whole bloody structure. Oh, that's absurd. You would uh, make a absurd. piece of piece of uh, yeah. In authoring mode, as we currently conceive it, the user chooses to draw attention to particular nodes and to input these things. Mm -hmm. The saturate case is the arbitrary one of this thing churning around. Right. Now, the nice thing about it is that you can model now the database as a bunch of independent processes, which if they're being activated, if they're if your attention if you have now you activate it being there applied there and they are uh, they're applied. You should have come to to not stock or not you couldn't do. To what? Couldn't do. Being couldn't do. Couldn't do. Yes, what is going on there? There and um it's been rest act. Yeah, they have seven now. Why didn't you invite me? This happened. I mean, they invited you. Into, uh, it's you, fine. I'm sure I couldn't do it. You couldn't for some reason. I forget what he was. I could get to bail on him. But um, I didn't invite you. I'm sure I could have um, paid you in your insane affair that everybody else thought was going to It's not very much <laughs> enough to get back in the entertainment stream. And. Um, the, um, so the point is, the and um, the, the, See, the list machine code would allow us to simply start these off as processes, yeah. and the system itself would worry about everything else. It would worry about. Are you sure? Without a much termination, but you see, the difficulty with list, I suppose I've experienced it, is the exact same difficulty that we now talk to about, about having different possible kinds of relation between entries that you made in this table. Yes. And that's not a great difficulty. But there is a trouble in this mm -hmm. because it tends to be tree like and hierarchical like mm -hmm. these things as we expand, expand the whole construction by making these entities which are super data and then you convert them into all, there all, we go. Your, all your then you go out. into a thing which is called Q, which is called correct. That's now into the table. Mm -hmm. We imagine the tap is the same tap. And are we really preserving the nature of the relation that exists, i.e., the nature of the intersection of boundaries, which occurs in the Hinkle page number here? As long as the view is really the black pencil on it. Um, that's my worry. My only worry, really. Um, because otherwise, I think they're going to steal. Ask the question. Um, yes, you can. Ask the answer if you know. This whole thing is a process of time. The end of this doesn't work, for example. Newton's list doesn't work. You need something equivalent to the lambda operator of Church's lambda notation, but you need a different kind of church in it, something like more like combinator notation. So you say so that you can I'm have a function that. index. Well it is lambda but notation that, that generally follows it. Yes, this is something called let's call it run A B G A L F or something like that. Mm -hmm. And now I call this run B. Let's see if this is a row again. One can now say that in the same way, arguing by analogy, I can think of the TPQTRSO as part of the Newton model. In one area, this is the process which I represent one, two, here. Sorry, what is so let, me, let me call this now, sorry, let me not duplicate okay. this. This is Omega 1. Say this or this or this. Maybe we should have a substitution of a substitution. That is, giving it one button there, we're giving it one key. Simple one, so
I'm happy with that. I've examined, but not stressed. But I've happy examined with it. it is that it could be a million and one. But tell me if what I'm... Of ones are two. Tell me if what I write is going to shock you. Well, let's see. I wish to write, therefore, omega super one sub one. P, Q. And omega super one sub one. R, S, O. So this is alias T. And now I wish to do this multi-process to do it properly. It All these processors are independent. Uh, this is alias T correct. That is alias T zero. That is alias T one. They will allow me to put a superscript in there. T one, super one. That is T super zero. Excellent. That does the trick. It. Now preserving this distinction to indicate and it's inserted. There are other ways of doing it. You can do it with a different notation, but I mean... And this is what you mean by one. what you were doing over here. Yes. If that is what you mean, Professor, yes. I agree with you with great joy yes. and pleasure. I trust you will not press it too far, because it can be broken down to later state the argument. But on the other hand, it works as far as it goes. It's quite a long way. When does break down? It breaks down only. Uh, when you consider only that in connection with that. I'm sorry? When you consider this essay in connection with that. It breaks down? It could break down. I don't know if it does in this case. It's good. But uh, until a certain point, it works pretty clearly. Um, you expect that it must break down. I know. I don't know. I, 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 I don't saying expect it. I say I'm a skeptic. I didn't say I expect I'm, it. I know. Me. I'm trying. So that I am a skeptic. When you, say that you, when you say that you're a skeptic, I wish still to pin you toward a direction, if not to a committed desire. And well, I it's when you want to take the process of that basically the same thing. All you're saying is that I don't have enough. Well, I don't, I don't have, have enough substrate have enough to compute. Enough. Yeah. That's all you're saying. You're saying, I don't have enough free-running processes to do this, that you can and this simultaneously. You can do it with a comma universe. I'm doing it 